make sure that he gets this, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Gaku, Gaku, Gaku! There are four teams left, and only two teams will move on to the qualification of the Rush GG tournament. We are in with the Queen Walkers, taking on Cha Cha Esports in this semifinals match to join the other two teams that have already qualified to the first open qualifier, which is Inquisition and Badzinger. And over the next few weeks here, we'll have another four teams get qualified, but this is our front wave. Top teams from across the world have been playing through the last few days here to bring us to this match here as we start off with Cha-Cha Esports opening with a Hydra attack with an early rage and ward ability to charge into the air defense and a blimp that can go through and take the town hall later on. He's got a clone and he's got a rage. So we can definitely go with a super minion bomb into the town hall. Poison now, it'll start to cross into the base and we'll see what he can get out of that blimp. He might even just have balloons inside of it. And try to get the single Inferno as his primary target in that area down, but the Inferno will start to chip away there, freeze up that Inferno and the Town Hall as he makes his final approach. With the Eagle Artillery on the far left side of the base there, but he is able to power through the defensive Queen. He puts the word Champion to go over there on the left flank at support where the Queen is taking some heavy fire. She goes to ability. See the Unicorn there? He try. Oh, not able to save the Unicorn. He does get the Town Hall down, but he does not get the Inferno down. And he pulled out a defensive Lava Hound as well. Ooh, this could be a rough final push here for Pradeep out of Cha-Cha Esports. And for a lot of big teams to make it into this match here today. Big score wars. See if they can pull through against the Queen Walkers here today. The King still working the outside. Will clear out out there with his ability. The Royal Champion doesn't quite get the single down. If the Queen can stand outside of the range of the single, Wait, the King's Barbarians are coming back. Hold up, the King might be able to save it. Not a lot of time here. The Queen steps through, gets the damage onto the CC, but then gets burned up. The King loses his Barbarians to the Giant Bomb. Come on, King! Take it! Got it! The King takes the single Inferno, and now he's got a minute to power through the wall, and he definitely will. That one coming down to the wire, but it is a triple. Cha-Cha Esports. Open it up with a nail biter of an open attack here against the Queen Walkers. Let's pass it over to the Queen Walkers though. And we'll see what they got to open up for us. Keeping track of this other war here as well. Let's see what they do on their open attack. I don't know if it's going to be Space Station. I think Space Station is in the higher bracket, so I think they go first. Yeah, I really don't know what happened with the blimp there, but. He did get the town hall down, and I don't know what the clone did, but one way or another, we got the triple. Space Station also opened up with a triple in the other semifinals. Missed the clone, but still got the town hall down. Missed that single. It almost caused a problem to end. Space Station Gaming opens up with a triple of their own, and here we go. That's the other semifinals that's taking place simultaneous with this one here. But we got Gaku coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo for the Queen Walker's opening attack. Uses a wizard and a balloon to go pick off the archer tower on the queen's flank there to funnel her in. He goblins down the line on the right to help drive the queen in there. One Tesla pops for the Tesla. Not going to be a problem. Pascal is going to slow this queen up and cost him some time, but he puts in a balloon. Now keep an eye on this balloon here because if the balloon drops onto the town hall, then it does ultimately... It won't. It'll go to the Arch Tower. As I was gonna say, if it drops to the Town Hall, it activates the Town Hall early, and he may not be ready for the Town Hall activation at that point, but it does get a CC pulled. We'll go invisible with the Queen to delay the CC engagement and make sure that he gets this, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Gaku, Gaku, Gaku is stuck on the Hound of the Town Hall is beating on his healers. He's get back on it. He's wasting every single one of his spells, and he does get it down. The healers stay intact, but at what cost? That is not a good thing. It's not a good thing here for Gaku. That is really, really to set him back. He's gonna need a miracle to pull this back now. All right, all right. King will deploy over on the right side. Hard to make his way into the defensive road champion and that multi inferno. Will not have any freezes to protect the king, but luckily only one Tesla has popped in that area of the base. King goes in, Super Wall Breaker misses 
to get the queen deeper in the base there. He has another one to get her into the multi inferno, but the eagle artillery continues to fire away. I need the Lalo to come in. Oh, I was going to say Lalo comes in from the left side and goes after the defensive queen and scatter shot first. He still might put it there, but the queen is going to have the burner abilities that single inferno locks on. He has no more freezes. The queen, go to the multi, go to the multi, go to the multi. Yes, she breaks north. Does she get away from the single though? Get out of there, queen. Get out of there. He's got the warden deployed with the headhunters. Lock out of the queen. The queen on offense goes back over to the multi inferno joins with the world champion though this queen is still alive and still picking up defenses he gets the scatter shot engaged and takes an eagle artillery strike there but he's able to maybe even avoid it because the tornado trap popped on him he's got it under control there's no way there's no way Garku pulls it back he's got the triple oh my god i can't believe he's able to get that that was wild that's wild. He's still got plenty of time to spare as well. He burned up all of those spells to keep the queen alive. And it was 100% worth it. The queen still got the value. And he's got the triple. And we start off tied. Nice recovery there, Gaku. Brilliant recovery. That's two wars in a row that he had insane recoveries. And it looks like Alpha matches the triple from Space Station. And starts with one of their own. Touch A-Sports. Coming with another dragon attack. He got lucky on the last one. They got lucky on the last one. Apparently they swagged the clone. I didn't actually... I wasn't actually watching the clone drop there. I pointed it out. But we'll see if he can do a little bit better on this one here. And get this one to not come so close and rely on some luck on the backside. Got a CC pull. He'll freeze the CC and poison it. Nice timing on that one. Right as soon as SCC draws out, immediately gets it under control there. Gets the headhunters down. Frees up again to lock up the multi inferno and those super minions. Don't get the super minions out of the way there. Which means no lava hound later on in the pack here. He goes in with the freeze onto the town hall. Rage it, clone it, and it is going to be a Yeti clone again. A cloned Yeti bomb. Takes out the Town Hall, but leaves that single Inferno up, but the Inferno Dragon locks onto that Inferno. It'll be Inferno versus Inferno race there, and Inferno Dragon had a head start and will win that fight. Three bombs there, closing out. One more Yeti down south there, ends up dying right as it was about to fade, and takes out one additional Tesla. And I think the Roar Champion, King and Queen with a freeze still attacked here, will sweep out the back end of the base here without any issue at all. Just hold on to that freeze there for the defensive warden. He's the hardest hitting defense left on the base here. And it's not going to be an issue. He'll pop that RC ability, get some of the other buildings down in the area. And if he wants to freeze there, he can. If he wants to swag it, he can. But I wouldn't swag it. I wouldn't swag it against the Queen Walkers. He swag, or he, he puts it over the right hand corner to help support the King. You don't want any additional troops dropping more than you can help it. Because you want to be able to keep these attacks fast in case it goes into a perfect tie if nobody ends up missing at the end of the war. But, Rasha? It's the second triple. We'll pass it back to the Queen Walkers. Kazuma will strike for the second attack of the Queen Walkers with an Electro Dragon attack. Super minions in the mix. And a lot of his spells is being used for lightning. Which I don't know if I agree with. I think Electro Dragons tend to want a lot more spell support than almost any other dragons in the game. He goes after the Eagle Artillery multiple air defenses and expos and wipes out the entire major threat area of the bottom of the base but all the defensive heroes are still around that so that's a perimeter defense to work its way through the flame flinger will collapse in and get the air defense and keep on moving over there for quite a while it's gonna take a little bit of mortar fire there not really a way to avoid that i see people like to use the lightning to take out the mortars to set up that flame flinger to get more defenses on top of that but obviously he doesn't have the spell support to be able to do that right now he throws in the baby dragon on the left side of the funnel one electric dragon up in the top corner and he will just use his two rages on his initial entry into the town hall town hall will not activate early because nothing changed into it from this side he will rage up as he makes his approach there's a ward ability protect him through the single inferno through the defensive cc and through the air defense on his left flank will reach over the wall there she'll pick up that air defense and continue down south he won't have to worry about a lava hound because it was super minions so he can safely put his heroes into that area if necessary he missed the town hall initially with the dragon that went into it so he drops in two super minions to go pick it up nice advantage of those super minions it's a nice little thing to just have in your back pocket if necessary dragon rider and a couple of balloons pop out of the flame flinger so pushes into the scatter shot on the right side 
Menu will finish clearing up the top of the base there. The E-Drag wants the last shot onto that multi-inferno. Does it get it? Does it get it? Does it get it? The electric damage. Watch the watch the Z-Drag. Watch the Z-Drag. Watch the lightning. Watch the lightning. Get it. Yes, he got it. He got the multi-inferno. That clears out the core. That protects the cleanup in for the top side. And now his heroes will continue their final push. He's got one more of the super minions and his royal champion. Moving in from the bottom, the queen slowly getting topped off, and I think he just avoids having to fight the defensive queen all together as he steps through to the final storage, and... Oh, queen giving him the trouble here. King circling around. I think he's gonna take it without the queen. Oh, no, the queen's distracting everybody off. Costing a little time right there, but a triple's a triple, and Kazuma! High up our score once again. Nicely done. Developments of another war here. Space Station with the triple. But Alpha was a 79% miss. Space Station in the lead. Winners of these matches do take the qualification spots. Join Inquisition and Bazinger. Our put live for Cha Cha Esports. Stepping away from the clone Yeti Hydra attack and moving into a clone Lalo attack. Interesting. All right. Is he going for another? Are they gonna do a clone Yeti bomb here again? I think he is. Rocket balloon and Yetis pop out. He clones the Yetis. And inside of the race there, they'll take out that entire compartment, grab out that defensive world champion, and that's a big spell investment. That's a big spell investment right here, but it does reach all the way in there, gets the sweeper down, and almost grabs out that build battle build on the left side there. Was it worth it? I don't know. I always question whether these clone yeti bombs are worth it because getting the sweeper down is big definitely getting the sweeper down is a big deal because that also has the extra added benefit of just widening the hole that was created base there which will improve the pathing of the lalo obviously a sweeper is a valuable lalo target in general but this is queen gonna go now is he trying to push her off to the right and circle around the, the town hall or is he trying to drive her in to get the eagle artillery down not many wall breakers down. The ground expo get removed as he goes invisible. Hopefully the healer stays safe. The unicorn is at a safe distance, and he is driving his way across to the town hall here. A couple of ice golems will lead the charge as the king and the queen collapse their way in, and with the CC pull already dealt with, he will just have to make his way through that single inferno. But he's got a skeleton spell. He'll put in the skeleton spell, not for the single inferno, but he puts it in for the world champion for the right side of the base. The ground skelly's over there, and a Tessa farm gonna potentially cause some problems for her, but she's got a wizard over there supporting, able to power through those skeletons. And here we go, this is where it matters. He freezes up the single inferno, he starts in the Lalo, directly to the top of the base there. Ward ability protects the headhunters. And they get in there and get the defensive queen down. More Lalo now claps in over the Eagle Artillery, completely blinking with an entire side of the base there in balloons, direct targeting every single defense on his entry, but needs to get the Eagle Artillery down before it causes too much damage to these big clumps of balloons. He gets the right side pack there to cut off the left side path, which forces the main force of the balloons there through the multi inferno. Needs to get the expo down so they actually stay inside of the haste, and they're going to make their approach without the haste. Oh, another, he puts another haste down, and the hound leads the charge there and clears the bulk of the traps. A little split on the back side, but the queen misses the town hall. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that just happened. Ouch. Ouch. Cha Cha Esports. <laughs> oh no. They came so far. They came so far. But is it over? Find out. Who Marcus Scott? Percentage is still good in that one there. Still at 88%. If the Queen Markers have two misses, they can pull that back. All right, looks like Space Station gets a third triple on the board. As we see Cha Cha Esports and Alpha falling slightly behind as the pro teams take another step forward.
I am way late to this one here. Let's dive into stars. I am not late. We're good. Stars coming in for the Queen Walkers as they move into a potential massive advantage. If they get this triple, it would be two stars up. That could qualify them for the next stage of the tournament. Let's see if they can pull through. Looks like he's able to get the CC and the Inferno next to the Town Hall destroyed. All he's going for there. All he was going for. Big Tesla farm around the Town Hall as he makes his way into the single Inferno. The King will punch directly into the single Inferno. So the Queen cuts off his path in down south. And the Wizard comes down to make sure he doesn't backtrack. Ground Skelly's there, stalling him up as he makes his approach. He might want to pop his ability there. He does. He'll get that in front of down before he can go full beam. And loses almost all of his barbarians right away to the scatter shot. He'll make his approach towards the town hall now with this queen who gets funneled around that compartment and into that town hall. Grabs out one more Tesla with that yak there potentially. Does he get one more shot? No, not quite, not quite. Queen may need to go invisible here, but she locks out the town hall directly and. Air trap actually pulls her towards it, so will not cause any problems there. Our champion claps into the scatter shot, and the Lalo will need a rage here to get through all these defensive heroes. Rage it. Where's he? Doesn't have a rage. He doesn't have a rage, but he just brought in a lot of headhunters. Get that defensive king out of the way there. Got the defensive queen. Locks on the defensive board champion. Takes her down as well. No drama with that. Got all the defensive heroes down. And Stars still has his world champion. That's going to now sweep out the sweepers. Sweep for the sweepers. Yeah, that's how we roll. We take out the backside scatter shot with the freeze and the haste to surge his way into it. The slammer ends up tanking the scatter shot on the approach. And the world champion will make its way all the way in and pick it up on the backside, meeting up with the Lalo. And that's a clean sweep, ladies and gentlemen. The Queen Walkers are up by two stars! As all they gotta do is hold on for a little bit longer. Just don't let Cha Cha Esports get two triples and then Queen Walkers get two misses. That's the path for Cha Cha Esports to take the win now. As their miss was a high percentage. So there's still a glimmer of hope. It's not looking very promising for them. A monk! is live from Cha Cha Esports. Can they make the comeback now? Can they put some pressure onto the Queen Walker's final attackers? Obviously the pressure's a lot higher for them. Not only have to get these triples, but also have to get the big defenses as well. They go for that one star that really, really puts a hamper into Cha Cha's plans here as all they really needed for that one star to go through for a triple is have the Queen take another couple shots at the Town Hall, but he just did not calculate that Subi hero quite right and that queen fell ever so short and wrecked that entire attack and now might be the determining factor of this war it likely will you never know how things can play out queen comes down with a log launcher start to cross through the baser towards the town hall yeti on the outside he's thinking the archer tower there could definitely throw down a minion or two to go work down next to the queen and really help out with the trash on the outside down there. There's a couple sneaky goblins though. That's not necessary. Could go on minions. A little cheaper. Stay life of longer. And don't get targeted by the cannon. Alright. He will continue to make his way forward towards the town hall. The log launcher destroyed the single inferno. He engages the CC. And he's got the warden. The Rock Champion and the King all working together. Pops that ward ability right as he pops that King ability. Always want to make sure you do it like that whenever possible. Pair that ward ability with the King ability to protect all of his barbarians to get way more punch out of them. He bursts through that wall in a hurry. He ends up pushing the Queen all the way to the Town Hall here while the Rock Champion finishes fighting off the Lava Hound and takes out the Multi Inferno in the middle of the base here. No drama with that. The Lava starts in the top corner. The Queen is on track to take that Town Hall down and this looks crushed. This is such a clean attack. And it's such a shame to see that one star because Cha Cha Esports is such a good team. But right now they're in a world of hurt. He has to get a defense now after this one, but he's absolutely got this one under control. Let's get out of here and let's go check on the score to see if the space station lead is maintaining or if Alpha, after coming out of nowhere and putting up perfect wars and high score wars all the way throughout has been able to maintain the lead here this one is a triple all right all right we're gonna move over let's go check it out scoreboard says 
Space station. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Two one stars in the semifinals. Alpha Esports gets a one star. So we can see that the first two qualify and then the rest of them score points. All qualifiers are best of one single elimination brackets and playoffs are best of one double elimination. So that'll be later on after we get through all the four qualifiers. Two finals from each of the qualifiers and eight clans with the most points participate in the playoffs. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Klaus is live. Klaus opened with a... What do you take the town hall down with there? I got into it just a moment late and the town hall is gone. We'll have to take a look at that. Are these sneaky goblins to take it maybe? In front of the heroes? That's definitely a possibility. We'll have to watch that back and see how we did it. Wow, so uses the skeleton spells in the middle base there. Lock up the single in front of the king. Steps through an open corner there. Steps all the way in. He's got the CC and the defensive hero is under control there. More, uh, I guess a poison, not another skeleton spell. Oh, what's this? What this queen? Okay, she jumps back. All right, queen playing games with our heart here as she ends up jumping the wall away from the king and then jumps back across the wall and engages the king. And Klaus is still okay here. He'll start Lalo in across the top of the base here. Hound leads the charge. Glamour leads the push up at the top of the base there with the Hound out in front of it as well. Hound start crossing through the backside air defense though. Storm Champion takes out that air defense. And he's got a strong push through the scatter shots here. Freeze up the scatter shot. Uh, Eagle Artillery will not get in the shot off even though it didn't get frozen there. And there's that ward ability. Klaus is going to push all the way through. This is crushed. This is absolutely crushed. <laughs> Klaus. You're pretty insane, dude. And that is not going to be what Cha Cha Esports wanted to see right there. They had to see both Klaus and Yuna fail. But wait, maybe Yuna gets a one star. What if Yuna gets a one star? And that one star is like, uh, I don't know, 87%? There's still a chance. There's not much of a chance, but I mean, it happened to, uh, happen to Cha Cha Esports. Maybe it could happen to the Queen Marcus. All right. King is live. If they want any chance, they must triple. There's a slight opportunity if Yuta one stars Yuta on defense here. I don't think Yuta's gonna take any risk there. He might. Maybe he'll take some risk. But he could at this time be changing around his army and prepping for a safer approach if necessary, but King has to risk it all here and we'll be going with the Queen Charge Hogbinder Hybrid. And a couple sneaky goblins to go pick up that storage. A bunch of traps are going off there. Doesn't survive any of those. All Only one sneaky goblin makes its way all the way in. This sneaky goblin will take out the storage though, so all right. He's trying to drive the Queen north on the base here though. Okay, he has to go for another one as he really wants that storage down so he can drive the Queen north through the wall break. We'll get the Town Hall down, and they got the Tornado Trap out of the way, which is helpful. He put the Hybrid in from the bottom to help him deal with the single Inferno. He starts it now. Doesn't really have a choice there. Has to protect the Queen from that single Inferno, but she might keep her distance from it for quite a while here. I think she'll be okay for now. She can target it, but she gets away from it. CC's now pulled by the Queen. She can fight it with only one Ground Expo on it, so she doesn't have to sustain a rage there. While she fights it, and the Hybrid will punch in there, get that single Inferno down. Overall, looking pretty solid here. It is a little bit of a late approach to the Eagle Artillery, so watch out for how much damage this Eagle Artillery can do to these packs of miners. The Roar Champion with that shot there. That really, really weakens up that Roar Champion, but the Queen able to power through the Hound, and a couple of tests pop across the middle base. There he ends up popping that RC ability to take those out, and she'll go directly to the Multi Inferno. Taking that down as well. Hogs have the Siege Barracks. The King goes down, but the Yak can rages and will keep the Wizards behind there under control, and safe. The Miners actually skip the CC and go straight to the Eagle Artillery. The Hogs push their way through. He's got plenty of time. And King will get this triple. Guys, they have four on the board. But that one star is absolutely killing them. It's absolutely killing them. That's so unfortunate for Cha Cha Esports. 
and I feel like we need to go back and just take a quick look at how close that town hall was to going down on that one star so we can see exactly how close this war was. But it's going to come down to Yuda getting a one star. All right, Yuda, just don't throw. Just don't throw. Yuda coming in with a queen charge, dragon rider, and wall wrecker attack. Yeah, sending the wall wrecker directly at the town hall. Very little damage in the area. No room for Teslas. And as long as the uh, tornado trap doesn't pop and throw off that wall wrecker, should be able to grab the town hall out, which means he's playing it very, very, very safe here. And with that town hall going down, that's one star. All he has to do now is get 50% and don't disconnect. I'm surprised he didn't go out to the town hall with sneaky goblins. He could have invested a lot of sneaky goblins in there and just take out the storage of wall break to enter in the base. There would have been a decent number of troops, but it wasn't worth the siege machine to go after it. I mean, it's a safe play right there. It's definitely a safe play. Because there is some more spells for the queen. Bean circles into the artillery compartment and... He will step one closer, one make one step closer into closing this war out and securing the Queen Walker's position for the playoffs. And I assume that Space Station Gaming has maintained their lead. We haven't checked on them in a moment. We'll check on them after this attack and find out what the final result of that war is as well. The Queen will continue to make her way forward. The Ice Golems are freezing up her healers, which is always a little bit dangerous. They're sustaining a lot of damage here, but. Uh, get another rage down and get this queen moving through. The expos are now picking up more steam as another one picks up onto her. Gets into the multi inferno. Uh, Black Mine takes a healer out though. Red Bomb's going off as well. Blue's searching, but the healers are shifting up too fast and not getting a lot. Two healers went down in that push. Got the Lala went to the right side as the queen makes her way into the core. One expo down and castles are starting to pop across the middle base there. Plenty of cleanup. Or excuse me, did I say Lalo? I meant Dragon Riders moving in from the right side of the base. That defensive world champion pop her ability through the Tesla farm. The Queen moves in the backside. Queen will tank the scatter shot here while the world champion holds attention at the ground expo. She'll reach the scatter shot over the wall. Her healers do ultimately go down, but with a ward ability protecting him on the backside there, keeping the world champion moving a little bit longer there. She'll step all the way in and pick up that air defense, and the Dragon Riders will close it out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a perfect war. The Queen Walkers hold strong, and literally all that kept Cha Cha Esports from the perfect war is likely that one invisibility because that Grand Expo picked up onto his Queen. Literally, that invisibility that was forced to preserve his Queen ability is all the difference of these teams. And that's how close these wars come down to, but one way or another, let's go check out the final scoreboard here and declare our victor. It is Queen Walkers and Space Station Gaming as Alpha is not gonna make it through and Space Station and the Queen Walkers will join Badzinger and Inquisition as our second two qualified teams for the playoffs. There will be another two qualifiers qualifying two more teams each and then all the teams that were able to get into the top of the boards here will score points and those points will all add up and ultimately, another eight teams will qualify. And the, it's going to be the teams with the most eight points after all the... Or the, the eight teams with the most points after all four qualifiers are done. So definitely keep an eye on this tournament. This one looks like a lot of fun. And there's some big prizes up for grabs. So GG to the Queen Walkers.